your valve lapping compound put you a little bit around the valve don't have to have a whole bunch a little bit does it and then just kind of put it around there then you're going to slide your valve back in the head like so and then you're going to get your drill and we're going to slide it over the stem clamp it down and then you can kind of see how we work the drill back and forth while we're rotating All right, Mopar fam. So as you can see, we got the uh, driver's side head over here. I believe this is the driver's side. Yeah, the driver's side head. We're swapping the springs out and we're lapping the valves. Um, we've already got all the exhaust valves done on this head. We are halfway through the intake valves, but we figured we'd show you the process on one of them. Um, just what we do and more or less what you need to do when you're doing a cam swap might as well get this done while you're in the middle of the job so i picked this up you can get this at autozone napa whatever it's just some generic looking valve lapping compound um, a drill makes it easier and obviously when you're putting in a bigger cam you need uh, aftermarket better springs all of these parts came from frp flying ryan performance this is the new shim that goes under our spring we have to remove the old spring discard the factory shim and then we're going to also remove the old valve seal lap the valve put a new seal on install the new performance valve springs so we're going to do this one next we're going to pop the uh spring and the keepers off real quick this is the tool that i use um, basically it's just a big like c clamp version works real nice on the hemis and pretty simple to use um so let's see spin it like right there there you go so what we do if you got some helpers it definitely makes it nicer you gonna put the fork on the valve seat right there where the keepers are and then the tool basically pops the spring down like so and then if you have a magnet it makes this part a little easier and you can see there's your valve keepers it pulls them off and then we're going to release the tool and have your helper catch any parts that try to fall down and there's the old spring <clears throat> so again the only part of this we're going to be using is the factory um, locator that goes on the top of the spring so this we still use and then the factory uh, little keeper clips we're going to use the spring goes in the garbage and then the shim oh, get my keepers off the shim is right here and that goes in the garbage as well so after that we're going to push the valve out and this is the intake valve normally your intake valves look pretty clean as you can see the shiny chrome surface that little ring around there this valve really don't need to be cleaned or anything it's pretty good but we're going to lap it anyways um, the exhaust valves are usually your worst ones and definitely needs to be done most of the time so then we get a pair of little pliers pull off the old seal the seals right here and you just kind of grab a hold of that thing and squeeze and just kind of walk it up and down as you're pulling And they come off like so throw that in the trash 
And now we're to the part where we're going to go clean the valve up. Um, so we're going to take this valve to the wire brush over here at the bench grinder. And that's going to be this guy's job right here. He's going to go clean this thing up for us. And then we'll be right back. So we got our valve back from a uh, valve cleaner grinder guy over here. And basically the wire brush just kind of gets all the stuff off the top, gets all the big stuff off. So now we're going to lap it. What you do is you take your, your valve lapping compound, put you a little bit around the valve. Don't have to have a whole bunch. A little bit does it. And then just kind of put it around there. Then you're going to slide your valve back in the head. Like so. And then you're going to get your drill. And we're going to slide it over the stem, clamp it down. And then you can kind of see how we work the drill back and forth while we're rotating. And that should do it. Like I said, this valve was, these intake valves look real good to begin with. So then we'll get us a shop rag and wipe all of our stuff off here. And then you can see, you can see that, sh that silver dull finish all the way around. We got a nice fat lip. <clears throat> And get us some brake cleaner and then we're going to wipe the seat down right here in the head before we put our valve back in get all that valve compound lapping stuff off and now we're going to get a new valve seal start it on with your fingers and in this case, a 13 millimeter chrome socket and a small hammer works pretty good. Basically, you're just gonna lightly tap it until you, it'll make a pretty, like a metallic tinging noise when it seats all the way down. And that's it. So we got our new seal installed. And then I like to take some more assembly grease, just put it kind of towards the end here on the stem and just kind of lubricate that. That way when we go through that, that seal, it kind of comes through a little easier and doesn't tear or rip the little seal. I also like to take my finger and kind of push on that seal to keep it from rolling the spring off the seal. Sometimes that'll happen. Just kind of push it through, pop it up. Now we're ready for assembly of the new spring and shim. So you're going to take your new shim, slide it over your new high performance springs, your old factory retainer, then you're going to have your helper hold that for you. We're going to get our valve compressor tool and we're going to compress this assembly down. There we go. All right, so we're gonna get our little keepers back in here. Come on, baby. And sometimes these things are always kind of a pain. There we go, there's one. Have him try to start the other one or drop it on the floor again. Dude, Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna try to reach over there and crank that thing to the tighten it. There you go, crank it a couple times. 
crank the spring down a little bit, get some more. There we go. All right. So now we got both keepers in. As you can see, we're going to release the tool. And one spring done, guys. So that's basically what you got to do every single spring. So obviously, on each head, you got eight. So that's 16 for both heads. A little time consuming, but necessary. So other than that, stay tuned. We're going to be installing the new camshaft here in a minute. And uh, we're getting closer to the first start of the Tomahawk cam.